Hi there, you are going to join me on a trip to two Goodwills. The first aisle that I always go down, they had this studio art pottery mug. There was only one and I felt, even though I like the design on it, if there were two, it would be a little bit better. And then speaking of having more than one mug, there were a whole bunch of these barrel style mugs. And I did peel a sticker back looking for a McCoy symbol or some kind of maker's mark on them and I did not see that. And they were asking $2 a piece and they seemed to be in good shape. But for me, I had green ones that took a while to sell. So I left those for somebody else. I like the color of this platter. It's, we're going into fall. So that kind of made me think this would be a good fall color. And then this big bag of temptations also caught my eye because of there were four pieces in it. There was a oil and vinegar set and salt and pepper shakers and I did open up the bag to see if they all you know nothing chipped or crack but the shakers I felt were a little wonky on top they were grinders and I didn't want to sell something that didn't work and I don't really have a way of testing those in the store so I did leave those there moving on down their kind of plate and dishes aisle there was this nesting set of spongeware pottery kind of reminded me of the 80s thought it was cute how it kind of nestled in together and then this set of plates were taped together and they had a barcode on it so I flipped them back over and then I spotted this owl and I really liked the shape of it it kind of reminded me of a bat here I'll give you another there you go isn't that cute I thought that was neat unusual I liked how the color of it it has no chips or cracks and so I thought I would get that. There's a panda bear missing his head. That car, who makes him? Oh my gosh, all kinds of things going on there. <laughs> so weird. He's losing his head. My head. against the back wall with their Christmas stuff there was this candle or tart burner uh, I thought it was cute I was checking out the sticker on there it was made it has a sticker that it was made in Virginia um, but and I almost got it but then unfortunately in the very front there someone had chipped it and then fixed it with pink this is ginormous that's the only reason why I'm showing you that was $4.99 um, huge candlestick holder here before it was here still counts doesn't matter how long it's been here it's been here since September <laughs> so points every time you come this was a etched glass it was I believe that the purple was flashed on you could, could kind of see how the purple was worn away it was a pretty little you know pedestal compote candy dish they still have some Easter stuff here, these two ladies. <laughs> and then this unusual piece of a moose biting Santa Claus's coat for 99 cents. And then there was this light, stained glass light, but I felt it wasn't a um, handmade piece. Silver plate. That'd be nice if there were two of them. Like only one. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. And two ninety nine. They were actively restocking the store, which is always exciting. This had just been put out based on a date on a sticker. Um, it to me, I felt it was a, kind of a South American style piece the way what she was wearing but unfortunately her hat was messed up so I did leave that there I found one of these one time with Jocelyn at the Oxford Goodwill and this one is from 1974 and it is in a frame and there I'm going to flip it over there 
it's dated 1974 and it does show some age but a lot of people commented on this piece when I found it last time so that is why I picked it up the second time there was a pair of toe shoes which I thought was unusual I've never seen toe shoes at a Goodwill but I don't know anything about ballet slippers I don't know if they were new or used and so at seven dollars I left them for somebody who knows what they're talking about and I saw this piece when we did one last loop through the store and now I took Jenny to the big Goodwill and this caught my eye immediately I found it really unusual with those imprinted leaves and the pottery is Malabar pottery from Florida and it's in the shape of a little dress and with a little heart in the front there I thought that was adorable and this planter I thought was pretty it was very big and heavy and I was seeing if if I could find a maker on it there was this set of poker chips. The poker chip holder was wooden, but to me it just was kind of a plain set. I'm not an expert on poker, but from, from a non-expert point of view, I thought this was just kind of a plain set. Jenny pointed out this very large glass vase and said, you would hate to ship that. And I said, you are right. <laughs> and this was a little ginger jar, just seeing if it's an old ginger jar. I felt it wasn't. And there was the rest of the Blue Isle. Here was a studio art pottery vase. I kind of like the new price tags because then you can see how long the things have been here, you know? What's this horse plate down here? I felt that plate was part of like a decorating store, a home decor store, so I did leave that there. This I would have gotten, but the lid, the little knob on the lid you'll see here, the stitching had come out. Probably an easy fix. I could have fixed that, but I just, I just didn't, wasn't motivated, <laughs> but I thought it still was cute. Here was an extremely sparkly little dresser set with mirrors on it. And then this was a piece of glass, and on the glass it said, uh, Discover Jamestown. So to me, this is probably a souvenir piece from Jamestown. I was hoping it was fire and light, but it wasn't. This little planner I felt was old, but then I just, I just didn't like it that much to bring it home. <laughs> Jenny's pointing out the panda bears to me, and I thought that this might be something, it might be, Jim Shore, that's the name I'm looking for, but it wasn't marked on there, and I felt that it would have been marked if it was really Jim Shore. Could have been a mistake, but that was my reasoning for leaving that behind. Then this, someone had taken these uh, doilies that had been crocheted on the edge there and had placed them in a frame, and there's actually two of them. So I thought that was interesting. Maybe someone's grandma or aunt or mom had made them, and they had put them in a frame as a, you know, a memento. This was a stitchery kit, and I do like to pick up stitchery kits, but this one was opened. And then on an end cap, I found another menorah, and this time the centerpiece wasn't broken off, and it had a star. So I will have this one listed for sale, or if you want one without the center, Star of David, I will have that one for sale too. That one is now on sale. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, this is what it's supposed to look like. So I did pick that up. And then these go over your candles. I thought that was pretty. It was made in Thailand. I thought the colors on that one were very pretty. This next item was very specific. It was a napkin holder. It states right there, this is only for holding napkins. I have sold napkin holders before, but this one was a little on the plain side. I do fix it. The little rod came out, but I did fix it. Um, Jenny thought that this was funny because there was a bite taken out of the corner of it. I thought that was clever too. And you know, who hasn't been sorry for what they said when they were hungry? And here was a tiny little ceramic, probably most likely a hobbyist piece for only 99 cents. And I did think about getting it, but the very top of the tree was broken off. 
There was also this Hanukkah themed platter. It was very large and heavy, but I still wanted to see what it looked like. It appeared to have no chips or cracks, but just the, the size and weight. I left it there for somebody else and that was $3.99. And then there was also this box for $2.99. Uh, it was a heavy box because that's solid wood there and you can pause the video and read the information about it. It was from a barn. This little box was made from the wood from the barn. So I thought that was interesting. Very specific buyer would want to buy that. So I did leave that there. We were making one last pass through and I saw these and Jenny's like, oh, I saw those earlier. It's like, what? You didn't tell me. They're severely chipped up but and have no lids, but I'm going to keep them and I think I'm going to put plants in them or fake flowers because they're adorable, but too chipped to sell. Um, this was some art and it had kind of 3D features on the little Hobby Hobby style. And then here is an Antiquites store, fancier than Antiquities. I still thought it was cute despite the spelling mistake and then this little ashtray I was a little shocked it was four dollars I thought that was a little pricey so I decided to take my antiquites store this was a pair of glass uh, blown glass birds for three dollars they appeared to not have any chips or cracks but I have just sold all of those ornaments and so I decided to leave those for somebody else. And remember when we saw the blue Kleenex holder? Here was one in peach. Not done by the same person, but I thought that was funny. What are the odds that you would find a, another one? And then I thought, oh, is this fire and light? And no, it was not. It was just a plate. And then here was an oyster dish. It wasn't marked. Um, someone probably painted it back in the day, but it did have some wear to the pink paint. So I did leave that there. And then this shocked me that the price on this, this was $7. That's crazy. A <gasps> whole bunch of thread. So if you were in the market for thread, that was your lucky day at the Goodwill. That box was full of thread. I found a box full of amber glass it was either a child set or a demi toss set. There were five glasses, but one of the glasses had a big chip on the rim. So I'm not including that. And I believe there are six plates. Two might actually be the saucers because they have a inner rim. But regardless, there are plates and cups. I thought it was pretty. And then I found this New York World's Fair whistle for your beer mug. The whistle does work. I thought that was funny. And so I decided to get that as well. Here is everything that I picked up on the two trips to Goodwill. I'm going to show a close up of the potter's mark on the creamer and sugar, just in case some of you are like, oh, I know what that pottery is. It's this. <laughs> and you can let me know. I'd appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your support of the channel by giving me thumbs up and leaving comments. I hope you have a good day and I'll see ya.